Hi, this is Patricia Love, back again with a warning dream. I think it's also a dream of admonishment. But anyway, I want to talk to you about a dream I had about six, seven, eight years ago. I can't quite remember the time span. But it came to me after I remembered the dream I just recently had that I already uploaded. <clears throat> Excuse me. In this dream, this had nothing to do with fire, but this had to do with water. You ever see the movies where they show the river rapids where, I mean, they're really raging. Some are low degrees, some are high degrees, and they really need a skilled boatman to handle the rough waters. Well, I'm standing on a ramp, and I look to my left, I hear this sound. And this water is rushing around the corner from behind. And it's on my left and it's splashing so, so violently that I knew I was going to get wet. I mean, it was just messing everything up. And I'm standing there and this big old glob of water shoots over my head. And when I saw that glob of water shoot over my head, I was shocked that I didn't get a drop on me. Well, instinctively, I knew I had to get in this building I was standing next to. So I get inside, or well, let's say I get in front of the building, and I start hearing this noise. Now, the water's gone. I look up and down the street, it's gone. No sign of it. Street is dry. However, that was daytime. Now, all of a sudden, it's night. It's dark outside. Weird. And I hear this crackling noise, almost like um, wrapping paper. That's the sound. And it was just like coming from everywhere. And I said, oh, this is freaky. What is that? So a few of us are standing out looking. We're looking up the street. And it was like a hill, a small hill. And it, it, it almost looked like the top of the street was freezing over, turning into ice. It was the weirdest thing. So we're watching this thing, thing and, and the ice is approaching us. And a guy calls out to us from inside the building. And he says, everybody get inside now and close the door. So that's what we do. And as we close the door, we all gather at the window and we watch to see what is this weird thing that's going on. And all of a sudden, what we notice, it's not ice at all. It's a bunch of beetles covering the whole street. I mean, it almost looked like a locust attack. But instead of locusts, it was beetles. That was bizarre. So we're watching the beetles go down the street. And I mean, they're going all the way down and everything is covered with them. Now, once they clear the area, some of the brothers pick up brooms. Now, one thing I knew, I was inside a building again with a bunch of born again Christians. We were all believers and the brothers had to open the door once it was safe to go outside and sweep up all the debris that the bugs left behind. Strange, isn't it? Okay, it's nighttime. The next thing we know, it's morning. And we get a call. And one of the brothers announces, how many volunteers can we get? We have an emergency situation where there are a lot of people injured. And we need to go and help the medics and volunteer to help mend their wounds and take care of the wounded. The next thing I know, one of my friends who works at one of her congregations gets her van and she loads it up with all the clothes that the church had donated prior to that day. And she's gathering up all these things to deliver to the people who no longer have a place to live.
it was like emergency after emergency. I didn't know what was going on. But I know when I woke up, I knew the saints, the people who believed in Jesus Christ, people who were drawing close to God, we rallied together. We were safe. We were okay. But we were helping all the other people that needed help. We were doing the cleanup. We were doing the mending. We were dressing wounds. We were clothing and feeding. Listen, we need to pray. We need to be spiritually discerning. We need to be aware of what's going on. And we need to ask God to show us how to prepare because we are going to be the lifeline to a lot of people. Some may be our family members. We don't know. But God said, for this year, prepare for battle. I've already said that. And I believe that the church is going to throw a lot of lifelines all over. But we have to be equipped, saints. We have to be prayed up. Our hearts have to be loaded with love. We'll have to lay aside our personal agendas. And we'll have to sacrifice and inconvenience ourselves to help other people. This year, I believe the church is going to have to step up to the plate and be about their father's business. So let's be about our father's business, okay? God bless you. And for those of you who are not in Christ yet, please get in him as quickly as you can because things are going to get rough. And some of you will not make it through the year. God bless you.